At number 9 on my list, I have Nate the Great Thurman. Thurman was born July 25, 1941 in Akron, Ohio, and he attended Central High in Akron, Ohio. While there, he was a standout center who was known for his defense, strength, and rebounding ability. While it was time to go to college, Thurman was recruited by many schools, including Ohio State University. However, he decided not to choose Ohio State University because he knew if he chose it, he would play back up to the great Jerry Lucas, so instead, he chose Bowling Green. While at Bowling Green, he, he set many records, and he's still the, NBA, he's still the school's all-time leading rebounder with 16.5 rebounds a game. When it was time to go pro, Thurman was drafted by the San Francisco Warriors with the third pick in the 1963 NBA draft. While in, a rookie, he played back up to Will Chamberlain at center, but as the season progressed, ha- Alex Hannum gave him more minutes as he played the role as either the sixth man or power, starting power forward beside the great Will Chamberlain. His efforts paid off as he helped the team w- win the, the Western Division title and he helped the team get to the NBA Finals, where they lost in five games to the Boston Celtics. In the 1964-65 season, Thurmond and the Warriors were, were going off to a bad start, and they once they endured a 17-game losing streak. Because of this, they, they traded Will Chamberlain away, and this allowed Thurmond to emerge into an all-star center. While doing this, he set the record in February of 1965, with 18 rebounds in a quarter, which still stands today. The Thurman and the Warriors, though he was playing good, the Warriors were struggling as a franchise, and this led to the draft pick of Rick Barry in 1965. With Thurman and Barry as the two as the dynamic duo, the Warriors did very well as they made it to the 1967 NBA Finals, where they lost to the San Francisco, sorry, where they lost to the Philadelphia 76ers. Days after the finals, Rick Barry announced he was going to jump to the ABA, and so this left more room for Thurman to operate. Despite this, Thurman was playing well, however the Warriors were not a contender again, and he suffered from many injuries at this time. In the 1967-68 season, he became the second center outside of Will Chamberlain to average 20 points and 20 rebounds a game in a season. Thurman was so great that he was known for his defense, his all-around play, and his intimidation. And he, he and Will Chamberlain often said that Nate Thurman gave him a tougher time than that of Bill Russell. As the 1970s came, Thurman was still one of the be- centers in the game and probably the, one of the best defensive centers. However, the Warriors were struggling and they were not the team they were with Will Chamberlain in the early 60s. In 1972, the, the Warriors brought back Rick Barry from the ABA, and they were starting to be good again. However, it was a bit too late, as Thurman and Barry's best days were far behind them. 1973-74 was the first year that block shots were recorded, and Thurman was spectacular, averaging 2.9 blocks per game for his career. Sadly, in the, in the summer of 1974, Thurman was traded to the Chicago Bulls for center Clifford Ray. Though Thurman was still good, he was injury prone by this point, and he was not the same player anymore. In the first game of the 74-75 season while he was a Bull, he put up the first official quadruple double in NBA history. However, since blocks and steals weren't recorded until 1973, For sure, he must have had more. Sadly, the Warriors won the championship without him, and Thurman remains ringless. Despite this, he retired in 1977 with career averages of 15 points, 15 rebounds, and unofficially 2.1 blocks, well, officially 2.1 blocks per game. But since blocks and steals weren't recorded, you can imagine that his blocks and steal numbers would be higher. The reason why I put Thurman on this list is how dominant of a presence he was in the middle, and how he changed the game with his dominance and intimidation, very much like that of Bill Russell. Thurman is a fu- is a seven-time NBA All-Star. He's a five-time member of the All-Defensive teams. He also used to give Kareem Abdul-Jabbar fits, and Kareem said. 
Thurman's the best defender he ever faced in his career. I notice most people don't put Thurman in this in their all-time top ten list because they don't know about him. They don't do it. his accomplishments get overlooked, and he is very underrated. Sadly for him, he passed away on July twenty in July of two thousand sixteen at the age of seventy four. But his legacy may live on. In my opinion, he's the second greatest warrior center behind Will Chamberlain, and he's the he's the number nine center of all time. Number nine, Nate Thurman.